Hey guys, it's Lakin from Plan with Lakin, and I'm here for part two of my Happy Mail haul that came while I was out of town. This time it's from an assortment of different shops. We've got a lot of different style packages here from a lot of different shops, so let's let's jump right in. So the first one is from a shop that I love called Planner Kate. Um, she I met her at the first Go Wild in New Orleans. She is very sweet and makes a lot of great functional and color coordinated stickers. So let me show you guys um, what I picked up from her shop. Okay, so I actually, I'm pretty sure if I recall, I just got a bunch of the same sheet. So she always throws in a bunch of little freebies. Whoop. So these are all the little freebies that she threw in with my order. These are very cute um, and a business card. But I ordered, yep, I ordered a bunch of the same thing. So I really like this sheet that allows me to change the monthly from a Sunday to Saturday layout to a Monday to Sunday layout. I almost said that wrong. Um, it just, it matches the week, then the monthly matches the week, and it just lumping my weekends together since I work at nine to five Monday through Friday just makes more sense in my head. If I'm going out of town on the weekends, I want it to be lumped together. So I always change my monthly layout and I get the stickers from Planner Kate to do that. She also has colorful ones that match the Erin Condren color scheme, but I needed to stock up on some of these neutral tones. That way I can do my own things with the months. All right, the next thing is in this priority um, flat rate envelope. So let's go ahead and dig into that. Okay, that took a lot more work than I thought. Um, so this is actually from Yellow Paper House. And um, I forget what she calls this, but it's essentially a journal of a variety of different colors and paper thickness. Now I have a couple ideas of what I want to use this for that I haven't quite decided yet, but let me show you guys what's in the side. Oh, it's called a junk journal, that's what it's called. So it's a variety of different colors as well as different paper thicknesses. Some of them are super thick, like you could use paints on them, and some of them are a lot thinner, although I think even the thinnest page in here is probably relatively thick. Um, but again, I have a couple ideas what I wanna use this for. It's it's sort of a nice just blank canvas you can do a lot of things with, but it still has some color. It's not just you know a plain notebook. So I'm excited to dig into this. I have been dying to open this one, but I waited to do it on camera. This is my May Designs order from National Notebook Day when all the notebooks were 40% off. Now I'm incredibly proud of myself because every notebook I ordered had has a use. Like I had a plan for what I was gonna use it for. So let me show you guys what I got. I remember most of them. We'll see, I think I got five. Okay, so the first one I got was a baby one. I loved this rainbow color. And this I believe is just a dot grid on the inside. So what I'm gonna use this for, I just recently signed up for Rent the Runway Unlimited. I'm just gonna use this to jot my thoughts about what I ordered, maybe plan out my outfits for when orders come in and things like that. All right, which one's next? Oh, the Happy Stripe. I couldn't not get one of Emily Lay's Happy Stripe. This one I also believe is just a dot grid on the inside. Oh no, this one I did get lines. So my plan for this one is, I did start reading A Simplified Life, her book, Emily Lay's book, and then I got distracted. Um, and so I want to go back and reread it. And this is going to be my notes and sort of to-do lists and just things that come out of me reading that book. All right. Oh, the pineapples. Okay. So this is also an Emily Lay design. This is the pineapples. And I got this quote on the front of it. And what I plan to use it for is to start planning a garden. So I actually have an outside space. Now it's New York, so it's a concrete block, but it's a porch. It's a patio nonetheless. And I really, Sam and I went to the botanical gardens for our anniversary and I was just blown away and very moved by all of the different greenery and just how many, how many things you can grow and nurture. And so I really want to take advantage of my outside space and start growing a garden, but I'm going to plan it out first. Um, I know I've sort of already missed the prime, opportune prime to plant stuff for this season. So I'm gonna take the next however many months to plan it out and then next spring, I will actually plant and start cultivating my garden. Okay, um, all right, this one. Oh, 
I, oh my God, this pattern is just gorgeous. So this one actually is one of the specific May designs. Oh, sorry, I totally forgot. This is just dot grid on the inside. So I can draw things or make lists, you know, anything. Um, so I got this quote on the front. It's actually scripture, it's not a quote. Um, and I got the prayers and gratitude inside. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Um, I just thought it was really beautiful. I really wanna spend a little bit more time um, praying and just being a little bit more thankful. And so I thought um, getting the May books would be a good inspiration. And then the last one, I actually didn't get personalized. I just got this cover, which I love. And then on the inside, I got the calligraphy pages. Now, I don't know that I'm actually gonna practice calligraphy per se, or actually use a brush pen because that's not my thing, but I'm gonna just practice my lettering and it gives me a nice space to do that and then I can practice all the A, practice all the so on and so forth. Let's see how many, so it's got a couple just blank. Okay, so first it teaches you how to do it. Then, it has a couple blank um, sections, and then it's got, let's see, one page of A. Looks like it's one page per letter, but, and then it does it twice. So that's what it does, it does the alphabet twice. So I'll probably just pick two fonts to focus on and work on my lettering in this one. That's it for May books. I am incredibly proud of myself for not just ordering a bunch of lined and dot grid pretty patterns that had no purpose. <laughs> Last, but certainly not least, a gorgeous pink box, the same pink as the uh, seasonal surprise box. Um, they taped this one up a lot. It's gonna take a lot of work to dig into. I'll be right back. Okay, so this order is actually from the date that the teacher planners launched, the new Erin Condren teacher planners. Now, I'm not a teacher, and I didn't even order a teacher planner, but I got a lot of the new stuff that day, so let me show you guys. So, typical Erin Condren fashion. This is what it looks like when you open it up. It's got a little sticker, a little, um, postcard and then the pretty fabric, um, fabric, tissue paper. Hmm. Um, okay. So the first thing I got, it's a little sad is these gel pens. Now they were supposed to be up on the site as a gift with purchase for the teacher planner purchase, but they had them up for sale. And so anybody who ordered early in the morning were able to throw them in their cart and they honored that, but then they ended up taking them down. So these are currently only available as a gift with purchase for the teacher planner. We'll see if they end up putting them up in the future. The sticker pad. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm really excited about this. I saw some flip throughs of some influencers who got it early and it just looked awesome. I'm actually currently not in school or studying, but I couldn't resist. Um, I will flip through this for you guys. Okay, the next thing I got, actually, I just got a new pouch because mine fell apart, the one that was in the back of my planner. Um, I picked the mid-century circles, even though that's not anywhere near the most recent theme. But it actually doesn't look like it came with the coil clip piece. That concerns me a little. I thought it was gonna come with that. So, not sure I'm gonna get this in my planner yet. <laughs> the sticky notes. Oh my gosh. These new Erin Condren um, teacher sticky notes. I don't have any words. They're so cute. And they're so versatile. You don't need to be a t-shirt to use these sticky notes. These are great. The next thing is a big stack of stickers. The Erin Condren sticker sheets. Um, the first two I got were the lightning bolts, which I, I'm not sure what they had in mind when they designed them, but let's be real, all I see is Harry Potter. So I got these for the week to use for Harry's birthday week. And I got two different colors. I'm a Ravenclaw. And so that's what I really want to use, but Harry's a Gryffindor. I haven't quite decided yet what's going to go at the bottom of that week, but I got the sheets to have. And then I stocked up on a couple more of just some of my favorite patterns, the new, from some of my favorite new patterns um, in the sticker sheets. And then I went ahead and grabbed one of the, ha the new habit trackers. So if you follow me on Instagram and you see any of my planner post, I use a habit tracker every week that I actually make myself. And then Erin Condren came out with these habit trackers. Now you can get them customized, um, both color and with categories. I just got blank ones for now because my categories, to be honest, change every couple of weeks. So I didn't want to commit to anything, but 
I'm challenging myself in a couple of weeks, I'm going to do an all Erin Condren week where I only use Erin Condren products. And so I needed to have a tracker. And then I got these new checklists. Have you guys seen these new checklist stickers? I got them in pretty much every color. You get to pick your color and then it's an ombre of that color. And I pretty much got the rainbow of bright colors. Um, they co It comes with 15, so if you use one every day like I do, it's pretty much two weeks on a sheet plus a bonus if you mess up. Um, I can't remember how much they are, but it's a pretty good deal. And I got them in all the colors because you never know. And then the last thing I got is a new cover. So this is one of the new patterns that came out with the teacher planner. And I actually got it not customized just because, I don't know, I just really loved the pattern. I wanted it to be everywhere. Sometimes I don't like when it's in the corner like that. That's where the customization was in the corner. I like it when it's centered on the on the cover. So I just didn't get my name on it. Um, but I got the teal, I'll confirm that, and white as my color choices. All right, that's it, you guys. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.